Time for rains, we're gonna go off. This is a Volvo FH. That was a Koenigsegg one to one. And I'm Tiffany Dell, driving the world's first truck with a dual clutch gearbox based on sports car technology. Coming up, I test drive a Volvo FH with a new iShift dual clutch gearbox at the Ring Grutstorp race circuit in Sweden. And we also get to borrow the world's first mega car, a Koenigsegg one to one for an ultimate duel. But I challenge Koenigsegg's test driver to a race. I reckon we can do one lap in the truck faster than the Koenigsegg can do two. Now, I know what you're thinking. On the one hand, we have a state-of-the-art heavy haulage machine, the Volvo FH. On the other, the streamlined Koenigsegg one-to-one. -one. Two totally different vehicles built for totally different purposes. So, why bring a supercar to a truck test? Well, Volvo claim that under the hood of this truck lies the heart of a sports car. So I'm here to see if there's any sense in that claim. What better candidate for a comparison than the Koenigsegg one-to-one, -one, the first ever mega car. In racing and sports cars, this sort of gearbox technology has been around since the mid-80s. Its main purpose, to provide faster acceleration, a pretty nifty feature in a racing car. But in a truck, its function is a little bit more than that. Having spent most of my life behind steering wheels of various racing, sports and even Formula One cars, I see myself as a fairly competent test driver. But to help me with some of the technicalities of the truck, I brought along an expert on the subject. Jeff Bird, Volvo Trucks Press Test Director, who's going to tell me all about this wonderful new gearbox. I certainly am, Tiff. But I have to say, I'm a little concerned about what you have planned for us today. Oh, the challenge. No, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll sort that out later. First, oh, okay. let's drive this truck. I think I better get down to work. Release the handbrake, and we're ready to drive. Hey. Oh, a bit narrow here. It feels too big to me, Jeff. Not at all. You can handle this, Tiff. No problem. Hairpin. <laughs> Squealing tyres already. Does it have a kick down or not? Yes, it has a kick down. Just yeah. press that Whoa. pedal to the floor. Oh, open the throttle and that is frisky. It leaps off. Acceleration is impressive for a truck. Mind you, of course, I'm not carrying a trailer behind me, I suppose. I'm cheating slightly here. No, we're only running at eight tonnes on the track eight here tons. today. I tell you, this corners really well. It's very light on the steering and responsive. I thought I'd be turning like a knob on the wheel to get more lock on. Brakes. Oh, oh he's just... Pretty good. <laughs> they work. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'm having fun. Actually, I'm having too much fun. I'm forgetting. We're supposed to be here to talk about this wonderful gearbox. So, look, if I stop on this hill... So now I want to do a hill start. I'm in third gear now. Gentle acceleration. Thought I didn't feel that. Five. I haven't felt a single gear change. Four, oh. five, six, eight. Seamless gear changes. Improves drivability. Yeah, so and what's it real? What's the real? What are you aiming at? The purpose, the main thing of introducing them. The tracks don't need to be like racing cars. What's the main no. aim? It improves performance, hill climb performance, acceleration, but also drivability and comfort, of course. I'm very comfortable. Right, where's that Koenigsegg? <laughs> OK, Jeff, because these nice people of Koenigsegg have lent us their first ever mega car, I thought we ought to have a little challenge. Yes, that's what's been worrying me all day. What have you been worried about? Nothing could possibly go wrong. Look, we obviously can't compare these two vehicles directly, but I reckon we could do one lap in the truck faster than the Koenigsegg can do two. So it's us in an eight-ton truck racing against one of the fastest cars in the world. What could possibly go wrong? Look, relax. I'm feeling really confident about this. Aren't you, Robert? See? That's Robert Savansky. He's Koenigsegg's official test driver. He's relaxed. And we're about to find out if he's any good or not. So, just to give you a few numbers. The car has 1,360 horsepower and weighs 1,360 kilograms. 
which makes it the first ever series produced supercar with a one to one power to weight ratio. It also has 1,371 newton meters of torque. The truck has a 540 horsepower engine that produces 2,600 newton meters of torque, which is almost double that of the car. Hey, you feel the torque of the engine? Fantastic. Engage gear. Wait for these lights. How's he looking there? It's a bit small. I think he's worried, Tiff. I Your think he's really worried. Red lights coming on. Ooh, from overhead, quick to go off. Definitely to accelerate faster than the Koenigs has gone. Oh, I've just got over to 95. Oh, I've got a break for the corner. Nearly forgot. Oh, she's sliding now, Jeff. She's sliding. <laughs> he may have accelerated fast. So he's got all these corners. He's got two laps to do. Oh, I just love it. I tell you what, this is much more fun than I thought it was oh, ever going to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is exciting. Can you oh. see him anyway? Where's it over your shoulder? Has he disappeared? Uh, he's gone. He's heading down the main street already. What did he call this corner? Idiot's corner. This is called the idiot corner. Justifiably Squeagling so. Wiggling understeer. Oh. oh, and then it lights up the rear. <laughs> We're nearly there. <laughs> Where's the mirrors? <laughs> Oh, I can just see him coming. He's already coming. I can't whoa, believe it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can hold on. We can hold on. Here he comes. Oh, he's not coming through there. Oh, he's not coming through there. I've chopped him. I've chopped him. Oh, no, he's coming this time. Oh. We made it across the finish line in one piece. We so oh. nearly won that. Oh. But at least we proved that the Volvo truck is half as fast as a Koenigsegg one-to-one.